Hello there, it's Susan. Today I'm going to be doing a balloon and I'm going to be using some inks in my um, mixtures as well as this little piggy. That's just, that's about it. I'm not using any tube, tube, I'm not using any tube paint, just ink and this little piggy. Doing a bloom. Going to be using this as my pillow paint. Make sure you can see it. Um, this here is my uh, pouring medium, just using um, untinted paint, deep base paint, mixed with uh, my ink or my piggy. I'm not using any varnish at all. So the uh, ink I'm using is Liquitex um, ink, acrylic ink. Oops. These are the colors I'm using. <laughs> okay, I'll see the colors as I put them on the canvas. Uh, what else? Um, yes, this is the little this little piggy pigments I'm using. Two of these. And as my cell activator, I'm using Amsterdam titanium white paint mixed with American Floetrol, not Australian Floetrol. So I'm just reusing a canvas that I have. I used ink before my last, a uh, couple of my last paintings were just ink and untinted paint, no varnish, and it worked out pretty good, except they dried dark. Um, that's because I had a darker color in there and I had black cell activator, so this time I'm using a white cell, cell activator. And I'm not, I might use the same color I used last time, the, the, the blue, which is a little darker, not blue, turquoise but I won't use quite as much as I did before. Trying to pop some air bubbles. I don't have too many. I just had a couple there. Maybe three. No, oh, just two. Uh, I think I might need a little bit more on the corners. Just helping the paint go over the sides when I do spin it. Spreading out the paint a little bit. Okay. Alright, I'm starting out with the turquoise, turquoise deep ink. on here just a little bit because it's very uh, intense that color then I'm going to use vivid red 
orange, also ink. And I'm using this little piggy glisten. Then, whoops, put Aquadun Magenta, and this is the ink as well. Then I'm using this little piggy, it's called Funk. This is a little bit on the dark side, so I'm not going to use too much of it. But it's not ink, so it might be okay. Yeah, so I'll use a little bit more. Now my white cell activator. I've got to really stir it. Whoops. Built it. <laughs> stir it really well just before you use it. whipping it like to uh, froth it up a bit. All right, let's go for this. Dizzy from that, from that.
just trying to <clears throat> trying to blow it out to the corners a little bit more. <clears throat> sure it turned out um, better than the black using black cell activator but it's okay I don't think I'm gonna spin it any more than that I think it's good just making sure that it doesn't move that much it moves a little bit so yeah, maybe I will spin it a little bit more just to remove some of the paint. I don't want too much paint left on the canvas so that it uh, dries okay. Okay, so I am going to bring you down for a close-up. Works okay. All right, let it dry and I'll show you uh, the dried results at the end of the video. Hi, I'm back with the dried results. Dried really nice. As you can see, the uh, interference color changing in the middle or the dark turned out okay. Um, the lacing is very thin and I believe it's from, I didn't have my cell activator thick enough, so it bled into the other color as you can see and it's very thin dried thin still looks pretty nice though I think anyway here's a close-up so the ink and the piggy pigments um, seem to work okay together there's no tube paint at all in this thank you for watching have a great day bye for now